So this is the resume that helped me land 10 software engineering offers right out of college. Let me give you some context. So it was the height of COVID. I was just sitting on my desk during lockdown with nothing much to do. I started seeing some of my college friends land some awesome roles at big tech companies like Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. That really encouraged me to start applying for jobs and get prepped for interviews. That led me to really understanding the interview process. But as always, your resume is the first impression that the recruiters will look at and it's important to really understand what to put on your resume and how to really showcase yourself to the recruiters and let them know that you're a good candidate. So after sending over 200 applications and failing many interviews, I finally found success and ended up with 10 job offers right out of college. So in this video, I want to share with you my resume when I applied to those jobs from education, work experience, and projects and reveal to you guys the 10 offers that I received at the end of my job search journey. So for college, I I went to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, which is a California State University in the central coast of California. I received my bachelor's of science in computer science with a GPA of 3.63, which isn't that bad, but could have been better. I also included some relevant coursework for the recruiter to kind of understand and to really showcase like where I'm at understanding computer science fundamentals. These include, you know, database modeling, data structures, distributed computing. And so that allows the recruiter to really have a better understanding of, you know, where I'm at. So after the education section, I have my experience section, which takes up most of my resume. So at that time, my recent experience was a software engineer intern at Cisco systems. So this internship was pretty much a blur. I wasn't part of a big software engineering team. It was essentially me and two other people. They wanted to use a graph database called Neo4j to do analysis on root cause in this supply chain, but we didn't get too far at the end of the day. My next recent experience is a computer science tutor. And so I was a computer science tutor at Cal Poly. So essentially I helped other students with their coding assignments, helping them lead to understanding how to solve the coding problem problems and understand the requirements for the coding assignments. And so this job was pretty chill. If I wasn't spending time helping students, I was essentially working on my own um, homework task or doing my own thing. So the last experience I have here is as a software engineer intern at Life Church, located in Edmond, Oklahoma. So although this was a church, they were really up to date with the tools and the systems that they were using. For the majority of my time as an intern was to write Python scripts to load test their system, simulating thousands of requests from many users and seeing the capacity and the threshold that their systems are willing to take. My time as an intern here was more rewarding and more impactful to me um, compared to even at big tech at Cisco Systems. The next section in my resume are projects. So the first project that I made was based on Spotify and where I developed a Python script to consolidate all my recently added songs from the past week into a single playlist. And I used a cron job to schedule the Python script to run from a Raspberry Pi. And so that was a really rewarding project for me. The next project I have here is a website called wacfslow.org. So I constructed this website for a club that I was a part of in college and it was a website to provide information for new and existing members to understand what's going on um, what the club is about i implemented this website using gatsby.js react graphql and node.js they were all new to me i had to learn basically online to see how it all works and how to integrate that and essentially publish it. And the last project I put here is called Music Mixer. It was a class project between me and two other colleagues and we essentially developed a way to upload music and kind of mix them together, have them run at different timelines on the track. I thought that was valuable to put down on my resume for our projects. Last but not least, the last section in my resume are the skills. So I put down from left to right which applications or languages I was most proficient in. For languages, I was essentially most confident in Python and Java. The rest I just, you know, dabbled with. As for the applications, I only knew Git and Docker at the time. Didn't know too much of the others, but I did dabble in those so the recruiters can understand what I, you know, worked on. And so, yeah, that was it. This is my entire resume that helped me land the 10 offers right out of college. And I'll put the logos of the 10 companies that I got offers from right here. 
So I hope you learned something um, from my resume that helped me land 10 job offers after college. And there isn't really any secret sauce. Essentially having a solid resume and background experience and showing that you're committed and devoted into learning and growing your skills. I hope you can take some of the things from my resume to help yours and help you land that job offer. If you want to see more of what I do as a software engineer, I'll put a video here for you to check out and I'll see you in the next video.